Vita virtus viventum. Living a life of virtue. Praise be Jesus Christ. I'm still at the camper. The last video I uploaded was on Sunday. I was at the camper. Still at the camper. Spending a lot of time in the Word. I celebrate Mass every day. Beautiful scriptures the last couple of days. Plus, I'm spending extra time just going through um, my scriptures. Now, I love the scary scriptures. I don't know why I love the scary scriptures. Today's gospel is one of those scary scriptures. It's the parable of the ten bridesmaids. Five were wise. They had oil. Five were foolish. They didn't have oil. The parable ends. The Lord Jesus says, Keep awake, therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour. Now, some people are afraid with this type of warning. Because they know that, oh, what happens if I'm not right with God? What happens if I'm doing wicked, evil things? What happens if I'm not uh, living a, a, a life that's ordered towards virtue? And the Lord comes, like scripture says, like a thief in the night. Wouldn't that be scary? Yes, of course that would be scary. But another way of looking at it is if we're trying to live a life of virtue, if we are trying to love God every day, and trying is the operative word, every one of us is a work in progress. And the Lord knows that. He's merciful. He doesn't expect, you could say, perfectionism. He calls us to be perfect, but that's His work. All we need to do is just, just try our very best to respond to the grace in our life. Anyways, some people are afraid. You know why you're afraid? It's because you don't know the wonderful love of God. Because Scripture says, perfect love casts out all fear. Are you in love with God? I meet people who are following the Lord still under a servile fear, still afraid of the just, angry, uh, demanding God. You got you to gotta mature out of that. You got to grow out of that. We need to come to a place where we know that we are God's beloved son, his beloved daughter, and he's well pleased with us. Even as we fumble along, towards holiness and perfection. When we let God fill us with his love, it changes everything. It dries out all fear. And then we hear scriptures like this, where the Lord says, keep awake, for you don't know the day or the hour. And we, we say, I can't wait for that day. I can't wait for that hour, because that will be the day the Lord comes to take me home to paradise to the place where there's no tears, no pain, the place that's wonderful beyond our wildest imaginations. And we should contemplate. We should meditate on eternal life, our Father's home, heaven, because that's what we were made for. It doesn't mean that we don't enjoy this life, and it doesn't mean that we don't apply ourselves to the things we need to do in this life, but we have to always have in our sights the love of our Father, the love of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of the Holy Spirit, and the God who made us ultimately for heaven. Before I say Viva Cristo Rey, I'm getting close to 100,000 subscribers. Why don't you go ahead, subscribe to my channel so that I can hit the 100 mark, which I think is going to be really cool. Should be maybe, God willing, the next couple of days. Anyways, nice to be with you again. Viva Cristo Rey.